the golden threads gooped to empire. The ground trembled. Chariots rolled through Potterly Putres streets, carrying golden banners that proclaimed a new era. It was 320 CE, and the Gupta Empire was about to transform civilization. Emperor Chandragupta I understood power wasn't just about conquest, but creation. Mathematics, astronomy, art, and literature would become India's most potent weapons. Sanskrit flourished like never before. Scholars mapped stars with unprecedented precision. Mathematicians invented zero, a concept that would revolutionize human understanding forever. Imagine a world where science and beauty danced together. Sculptors carved intricate temple walls depicting complex philosophical ideas. Musicians developed ragas that could communicate emotions beyond words. Mathematicians like Aryabhata calculated planetary movements with breathtaking accuracy, understanding Earth's rotation centuries before European scientists. The Gupta period wasn't just an empire, it was a renaissance. Universities in Nalanda attracted scholars from thousands of miles away. Students studied advanced mathematics, medicine, astronomy, and philosophy. Their libraries contained thousands of manuscripts, preserving knowledge that would otherwise have been lost. Trade routes expanded. Silk, spices, and ideas flowed like rivers. The empire stretched from modern Bangladesh to Afghanistan, creating a cultural ecosystem more vibrant than any previous civilization. But empires rise and fall. Invasions would eventually fragment this extraordinary civilization. Yet something miraculous remained, the intellectual legacy that would inspire generations. In just two centuries, the Guptas transformed human knowledge. Their golden age wasn't just about power, it was about pushing the boundaries of human potential. Zero. Infinite possibility.